Time now, 749. We're taking a live look outside. This is from I-70 near Highway 6. We know that there is a slowdown happening right there. As you can see, those cars not going very fast. First alert, meteorologist Dave Aguilera is keeping an eye on the forecast for us. Dave, how's it looking? They're, lo they're like saying, well, we got to get to the freshies. Got to get to the freshies out it there. It might be a while. Yeah, for, for <laughs> sure. Um, hey, no problems as far as uh, snow or anything like that, but the wind is really going to howl up there in uh, uh, many locations, so if you're headed up skiing, it is going to be a very windy day. Summit County all the way up to Winter Park as well. Here's a look at our uh, city park camera, and we've got a kind of a bank of clouds covering the city here. We've got moisture flowing in from the north and a little bit of a wave cloud mixed in together. So it's going to be kind of a partly sunny day, uh, meaning more clouds and sunshine around here. We take you up uh, back up to I-70 here. This is at the Evergreen Parkway, and look at the wind blowing the trees around from there all the way up to the divide. The winds are really starting to kick up up that way. Temperature wise to start you off this morning, we're in the 30s primarily, but you can see on the west side, take a look at this again, Golden, it's 37, 39 in Brewfield, and then you get over to the east side where there's not in much wind going. It's around 30 or 32 from Aurora out towards DIA, a little colder out there. 44 mile per hour gust in Broomfield right now, 62 in Berthoud Pass, but up there I've seen it go up to 70 already this morning and a 45 mile per hour wind in Nederland. That whole area, the front range, foothills and mountains have a high wind warning all the way through five o'clock. Uh, sustained winds about 35 to 45, but some of the gusts could go up to 80 mile per hour from time to time up in some of those areas. Here's the cloud cover coming in. And that's what I mean. Not a whole bunch of sunshine for us across eastern Colorado. It's all in this northwesterly flow. We've got a big high pressure area around uh, LA down here, but on top of it, the jet stream's blowing right through here and then right down into the Rockies. So that's bringing the wind, bringing the clouds. But for us, it's out of the west, so it'll be a warming wind for eastern Colorado. But in the mountains, we could see about one to four inches of snow in some of those uh, northern areas from I-70 up into southern Wyoming. Here's one of the uh, forecast models. So you can see a winter park may end up with about six inches of snow by the end of the day today with that moisture coming through. Temperatures in the city will be warmer than they were yesterday. We're looking about 50 in Lone Tree, 50 in Castle Rock. Roxborough out there should be about 46 degrees and up north a lot of 50 degree temperatures from Decono all the way up to Greeley into Nunn and the Alt neighborhood as well today. And there's the warmth across the eastern plains that you could see 30s primarily up in the mountains and the west today. So about 50 degrees for our temperature uh, in uh, downtown Denver today will be 39 in Grand Junction, 33 in Leadville, and about 50 in La Hanta. Tomorrow near 50 again, but tomorrow night we got a little cold front coming through with some light flakes of snow. 35 on Tuesday, 41 on Wednesday, and then Thursday, 46 degrees, and that's our toy drive day. Mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will be cool in the morning, but in the 40s in the afternoon, a perfect day to bring out the toys to any metro area King Supers. Hey, I hope you have a great day. We're going to be right back in just a minute.